Today, we're going to have a look at the longer Ray 5 and compare the 10 watt laser to the 5 watt laser and test their capabilities. Longer is a company well known for 3D printers. Earlier this year, they took all their expertise from 3D printers and created their first 5 watt laser engraver. We did a full review on that laser. But now, they have just released their 10 watt laser and we're going to run tests on both the 5 watt laser and the 10 watt laser to see what the differences really are. The first thing we see when comparing the laser modules is that the distance gauge for the 10 watt laser is much longer than the one for the 5 watt laser. This is due to the fact that the 10 watt laser have a longer focus area that allows the laser to cut thicker materials, like this 18 mm pine board. Running the laser at 100 mm per minute at 100% power. Note that we're using an air assist we designed. Links to the part over Thingiverse can be found in the description. Already at the second pass, you can see the laser passing through. Let's check on it after three passes. With very little effort, the piece breaks in two. And we see just a few small areas where it did not make it all the way through. The 5 watt laser is unable to do cuts like this. Both the 5 watt laser and the 10 watt laser can engrave and cut dark acrylics. But let's run the lasers side by side to see the difference. This is 2.8 mm acrylics and running both lasers at 200 mm per minute at 100% power. The 10 watt laser is able to do the cut in just one single pass. One more pass for the 5 watt laser, and it seems to be cut as well. But it was not actually cut all the way, although I can break it apart. Let's run a test with 3mm plywood. Here I'm cutting 5 lines. I'm keeping the power at 100% for all lines, but adjusting the speed. That means that the first line is cut at 100mm per minute. The next is at 200 millimeter per minute, and then 300, 400, and finally 500 millimeter per minute. The first piece that we cut at 100 millimeter per minute is loose, but the rest of the cuts did not make it through. It is easy to snap off the next piece, but the rest has a lot of uncut material left. Then we do the exact same cuts with a 10 watt laser. Five lines at 1 through 500 millimeter per minute. The first, second, and third piece are all cut. The piece cut at 400 millimeter per minute also breaks off easily. The last one at 500 millimeter per minute still has too much uncut material left. Let's test 5mm plywood. First out is the 5 watt laser. Running laser at 100% power and 200mm per minute. Note that this clip is running at about 5 times normal speed. After 8 passes, the piece falls out as soon as I touch it. How will the 10 watt laser compare? We run the 10 watt laser also at 100% power 
and 200 mm per minute. Note that this clip is also running at about 5 times normal speed. A clean cut after only 3 passes. So what laser should you get, the 5 watt or the 10 watt? Have a look at this video for the full review of the capabilities of the laser machine itself and the 5 watt laser module. But if you need to cut stuff and have the budget for it, go for the 10 watt laser. It will save you a lot of time and allow you to cut with more confidence. If you're getting value out of this video, please like and subscribe.